coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and CM Punk. So we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talk about Kimball Slice in the back there fighting, but Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This bat is a wrestler holding a professional record of two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, C.M. Park! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 13 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Good stick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick, land inside the counter. Double jab there by CM Punk. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Ooh, another shot to the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Just misses there with the left. Nice stick with the right hand. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that is a killer jab there from Jorge Cain, Brett Masvidal. Big picture, might be the best boxer on this roster. I mean, he may just be the best boxer on this roster. From Miami, Florida, Cuban heritage, a guy that for some... Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Oh! Oh, well, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop us. He better start soon. And when his opponent starts to pop he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clear. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! Oh! There he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Over and over, he's landing. Right, right, so he's right, right, right. Right. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was a full display. Illustrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Dane Red Masvidal. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight.